Hi, welcome to this uh, computer system. We have just released all the 29 ISOs these days, 29 ISOs, Arc Linux, Arc Linux B, Arc Linux D. And um, this video is about how to learn, how to learn things that change in Arc Linux. And there's a good example. So um, that's why I'm making the video now. We have an, had an idea. Well, actually, the idea came from somebody on Discord. So please give us your suggestions. Keep giving them. And uh, one of the things is that in the awesome, Arc Linux awesome, this one, this guy, um, that there is a new change in the configuration, right? We have an idea. If you open an application, then it's in Workspace 1. When you want to move it to Workspace 2, well, that's great. But also follow it along. So also change to the uh, workspace you're moving this application to. So that's was already in i3, was already in BSPWM, is now in Qtile, and is now also in Arch Linux Awesome. Now, Arch Linux Awesome and Nix Monad is all Nick Petrov's work. So we asked him, okay, uh, we would like to have this and that. Uh, is it possible? Yes, and he has changed the code. And he's the teacher and I'm the student. So I'm like you guys. So how do you learn? That's the point of the video. So get this Git clone. So make sure you have Control Alt G. Let's go and have a look at it. So you go to the Arco Linux GitHub and you get the code in. And you need to read the code. Simple as that. So he pushed it one hour ago. Like you see, that side star here updated lane when move tag focus. So I wouldn't know where the code is but i'll know after this video that's the point so you can get this this thing by zipping but maybe it's better to git clone it which is more interesting because when you git clone this url so type git clone and then this thing copy paste and pass it behind it paste it behind it um then you get this thing so i can git pull it again that's the, the advantage now to know the difference, it's very easy to just do a Control C, Control V. So I have a copy of these guys, and now when I compare it, there should be no difference, right? So everything the same. Folders have no difference. Fine. But when I git pull this one, then the things that he has changed, Nick, right, are coming in. I'm pulling all the differences, and there are some changes here, some changes there, and we're gonna have a look at the changes. And that's how I learn. So as a student, I go and compare these two guys. I say, okay, this is by the way, melt. I keep telling you guys, use melt. Compare, compare, compare. That's the only way to learn. Now we don't need to see the same things. I don't care about the same things. I want to see all the blue things. So in this case, I've asked something to change in RC Lua. So that's the first thing I'm gonna check. And it says here, that's the focus. So awful key, mod key, shift. So when we press super, shift and two on a particular application, we wanted to move it to workspace two. But this thing seems to say then tag double point view only, meaning you need to uh, activate it as well, focus on it. So in one um, system one desktop management it would be called focus and another it would be called something entirely different as you see and that's of course the challenge to understand each language this is lua there is haskell there is python and it's all different <laughs> so luckily we have nick here to be the specialist and he has here added this code and that's the only thing the difference there is that's the only difference right now i don't need to copy paste it over from left to right because this is going to be the left one, uh, no, yeah, the left one is going to be the real thing. And this is the copy one, which I'm going to delete. But it's just a way to analyze what changed, right? Uh, it's just an S creates, that's it. Okay, fine, creates with an S. And that's it. So that's not important. And you go to temp, temp things, and D. Uh, I won't know everything and that's okay that i know I don't know everything but just start reading if you don't start reading well you're never gonna know for sure i mean just start 
seeing what changed, what elements have been changed. So, so this is less, it's more complex. So this thing is more complex than the one on the right. And there will be reasons for it. And that this, this information is coming also from uh, Olsen itself. It's not coming from Nick per se. But the thing we just saw earlier is. So widget CPU Lua, things have changed, have been improved. So this is the new code as the old code. And it stays, it, it keeps working. So that's my point, basically, for any of our packages out there, you can always well, try to learn how to how everything functions by looking at the code and see what we change from one month to the other, from one package to the other package. And that's the only way how I will learn what's going on in my system and seeing, okay, this is the extra line that we've got just to, for my question, I said, okay, move it to Workspace 2 and then also focus on Workspace 2. All right, so the, um, have fun uh, comparing things. So melt is, is the way to go. And uh, that's basically the message. All right.